In this video, I'm going to show you how to um, use a credit note um, and how to write off a debt. So if we go to our sales and our invoices, we can see that we've got an old invoice here dated from May. So what you can do is we can look and see where this is originally coded to, we see what it's for, so we see it's £400 and it's been coded to Z sales. Now, if we just go to the top here and go create credit note, what it does is it takes the direct replica of your invoice and just contras it and changes it to a credit. So it's saying it's got to stay to where it's originally posted to. Now, you can change the figure, but you can't change the nominal code. Now, what we can do is this credit has now been applied, so there's now a discount of £240, so balance now due is £240. If we want to raise a separate credit note and we want to code it somewhere different, we can go to credit notes, we can go to new, we can go to printing dimensions, and we can change this and say, okay, so it was an item. And we can put this now to general income, for instance. What's happening now is that within these two, this one has not been attributed to that invoice. So we find the invoice. And now we can go apply now for this credit, 240. Now what's happened is this has been marked as paid because we've had those credit notes applied. Let's take those credit notes off and write off as though it's a bad debt. So let's remove this. So we're removing the associated credit note from the invoice, but the credit notes will remain on the account. So if we want to write this off, we can go to record payment and we can go write off. So it'll give you a reason. So we can actually say this is a bad debt. We can claim that back. We're going to go on the 15th and claim amount 480, write off. Oh. There we go. So what's happened here is that we've actually written this balance off and you can see down the bottom, the bad debt has been used um, to account for that, um, that non-payment of that invoice. And that's how you can write off an invoice.